Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm back. I'm back at my 6.30 time. <laughs> well, 6.34, but that's okay. Um, back at my early my early morning schedule for now. <laughs> I Y'all just have to bear with me. Sometimes that just kind of fluctuates a little bit according to our schedules and school schedules and holidays and whatever is going on in the Johnson household. But here I am. Happy Happy Wednesday. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are on day 12. Day 12. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I'm loving this devotional book. It has been so good, and I just feel like it just keeps getting better, keeps digging a little bit deeper, and man, it's, it's really good. So, oh my goodness. Okay, I needed another another sip of my coffee there. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. All right, so yes, we're still in the 100 Days to Brave by Annie Downs. All right, so day 12, she says, speak kindly to yourself. This is the name, speak kindly to yourself. And the scripture, the key verse today is Proverbs 18, 21. The tongue, the tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it, will eat its fruit. And those who love it will eat its fruit. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. All right, that is the scripture for today. So yes, if you're watching me live, give me hashtag one. If you're watching the replay, give me hashtag two. And we'll get going here this morning. So Annie, the writer here, she says, this morning when I did not like the look of the jeans I put on, I told myself so. Old Annie would have continued to a barrage of ugly remarks about my looks, but instead I looked in the mirror and said, hey, put on a different pair, no biggie, and I shook it off and changed. See how Proverbs 18.21 says everything you say is either producing life or death? It's just as true when you talk to yourself as when you're speaking to others. Yep. Just like with my jeans this morning, I have to choose words of life over words of death. That's the kind of conversations I want to have with myself. The ones that are truthful, kind, and full of life. And I think sometimes, I know guys can probably struggle with this too, but for some reason I feel like women in particular struggle with self-talk, right? We kind of beat ourselves up. I think guys maybe beat themselves up in different ways, but women really beat ourselves up over our looks and things like that. Um, looking in the mirror and we want to nitpick at every little thing and just, just really talk ugly to ourselves the way we wouldn't talk to anyone else ever, but we'll do it to ourselves, won't we? Annie says, she says, friend, Stop being mean to yourself. Stop being mean to yourself. Seriously. If you're going to be the person who does brave things, who, who is going to do, let me start over. If you're going to be the person who does the brave things God is calling you to do, speaking life and developing beautiful things in others with your words, it begins with doing that for yourself. If you're going to be doing things like that for other people, you're going to allow God to use you to be brave and to speak into other people's lives and, and to lead, right? We have to start with ourselves. We have to start with ourselves. My hair's getting on my nerves. Self-talk is a big part of everyone's life. Everyone's life. We constantly and subconsciously have thoughts running through our minds that direct our days. You need to listen to those. You need to listen to those. Listen, the negative ones, the ones that cut you down and make you feel unloved and afraid, it's time to chunk them. It's time to get rid of those thoughts, right? Stop yourself. Identify the lie and say the truth in its place. Speak kindly to yourself. Speaking kindly to yourself will make you brave. And if you're having trouble finding reasons to speak kindly to yourself, remember, it's not that you have earned the love of God or that you deserve love. God loves us even though we don't deserve it. 
even though we don't deserve us deserve it. And I used to talk about this um, a lot with the young people, with um, the teen girls in particular, about um, it just seems like they, they struggled with low self-esteem and just really beating themselves up and feeling like they were ugly and all the things, right? And, um, and I would tell them how much, you know, they are fearfully and wonderfully made and they're a masterpiece and that God created them. And I'd tell them, like, you have to get this word down inside of you. And you have to speak these things over your life because it's truth. And you have to keep speaking truth and filling yourself with truth to get rid of the lies that we tell ourselves. And, um, and I do that so often. And, um, and it really taught me, too, to change the way I talk to myself. Because, hello, I struggle in that area too. I, I have. I've gotten so much better about it. I'm not near like I used to be, but um, I've come to terms with a lot of things about myself, and um, and God has has me on a journey. Now I'm not perfect by any stretch, and there's still little things about myself I'm like, mm, but I don't hate myself, and um, and I know who I am in Christ and in God. So, um, yeah. So we have to learn to keep speaking those truths over ourselves to abolish the lies, to get them gone, right? So she says, um, you haven't earned this love. It's a gift. It's a gift. We don't attempt to beat the lies and believe the truth and love ourselves because we are perfect. We do it because in our imperfections, God loves us deeply and has made us just the way he wanted. Yes, you can speak kindly to yourself because God loves you deeply because you are his. You are his. Speak kindly to yourself as Jesus speaks kindly to you. Those words have power. And if you believe them, you will be brave. You will be brave, guys. You'll realize that yeah, I'm not perfect. No one is. We all have imperfections, right? We all, all have things that we can work on. But man, we got to speak kindly to ourselves and speak truth over our lives and, um, and get rid of the lies that the enemy wants to use to crush us and to rip us apart and put us down and, and um, put us in a box right and make us think that we're just nothing and we're nobody and we're never going to be as pretty as so and so and and always have always have us comparing ourselves to other people we can't do that we can't do that we have to recognize that that is the devil himself right that that is that foul spirit that is trying to invade our minds and our lives and trying to control us and we have to know that that is a lie from the enemy and that that is not what God says about us. That is not what he speaks over us and, and tells us, but that his word is truth and that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, right? We talked about our mind, guarding our minds. And we need to guard our minds and we need to watch the things that comes out of our mouth when we look in the mirror in the morning, even though it's like, oh. <laughs> even though we have that morning look like I did this morning, oh, well. I guess I'll run a brush through it before I <laughs> go live, <laughs> right? I mean, sometimes it's just taking the truth for what it is, but not being upset about it. Yep. I mean, I could sit here and talk about different parts of my body and be like, yeah, this is, this is, I need some work in this area or work in this area. But it's the difference. I was telling my daughter this. I was like, it's the difference in talking about it and talking down about yourself and always feeling like you're nothing or just putting yourself down and calling yourself ugly. And the difference is saying, yep, that's part of me and I'm okay with it. I'm good with it. I'm seriously good with it. Like I'm all right. And I'm doing what I can, right? To be healthy and do all the things or whatever. And it's, it's okay. And so I just come to them like God has really just taught me, right? Just to accept, you're like, I'm okay. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different kind of look to them. Everybody's shaped a little bit differently. 
We're not meant to all look exactly the same. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. And honestly, deep down inside, I'm good. I'm good. So maybe you're in that place. Maybe it's something totally different. Maybe it's it's um, with whatever God is asking you to do. And the enemy wants to tell you over and over again that you can't do it. That you're not ever going to be able to become anything with that. Or he's trying to stop you in your tracks about whatever it is. And, and you're talking down to yourself constantly. I can't do it. And you keep repeating what he's putting in your mind. You're repeating it out of your mouth. And God wants you to realize and recognize that today. That when you're talking and you're saying things to yourself and, and your thoughts that are running through your mind, if they're not things that God would say to you, you need to really listen to this, right? They're not the things that God would speak over you and to you and what his thoughts really are about you. Recognize that. I'm praying that you recognize everything that comes out of your mouth today. Me too. Me included. I'm talking to myself here. Everything. That we don't put ourselves down. That we stop the negative talk, the trash talk, the, the stinking thinking that goes on inside. That we take those thoughts captive, right? And we pull those things down. We make them subject to the word of God and to his truth. And we say, no, you have to bow to the truth. That no more am I going to speak the lies. Am I going to repeat what the enemy is trying to put in my mind? And, um, and it's not going to come out of my mouth. But the truth is going to come out of my mouth. Those things that God says about me is going to come out of my mouth. And, um, and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to keep walking in truth. And I'm going to do the things that God has called me to do. No matter how big and scary and whatever it is, I'm going to go forward. And I'm not looking back. I'm not going to turn around. I'm not, I'm not going to listen to the lies of the enemy anymore. Right? We have to do that. We have to get determined. We have to get angry with the, with the devil and put him in his place, guys. I tell my daughter th this a lot. I'm like, you just have to get angry at him sometimes. And he's telling you things and he's got you full of anxiety and fear. You just got to let that holy just roar, whatever. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. The Holy Spirit just rise up in you and have that authority that the Lord has placed on the inside of you. To put the devil in his place and tell him, yes, I am somebody and I can do these things. I am going to sleep well. I am going to go forward. I am going to be successful. I am going to do these things. The Lord is walking with me. He is holding my hand. He is making the path straight before me. Um, he is, there is a light to my path, right? Speaking those things, but it's, it's getting in your word. That's why the word is so important to read it to eat it, to digest it, to get it down inside of you so you know the truth. So when the enemy comes, you know it's the enemy, you know it's the lie, and that truth just rises up inside of you and it abolishes the lie. And the lie has to go, right? In the name of Jesus, it has to go. And then you're able to get up, you're able to sleep, you're able to go about your day, and the Lord, He gives you your, the peace that you need Right? Grace and mercy follows you. Man, it's those good things, those benefits of being a Christian, benefits of following God and trusting Him and, and just being in His Word and having that relationship with God. It's not just a thing of going to church on Sundays and going to class on Wednesdays. It's so much more than that. So much more. And those things are awesome and great. And yes, we should do them. But guys, getting up on a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Thursday, on a Friday, on a Saturday, and getting your nose down in the Word of God and reading His Word and, and talking to Him and praying and speaking to Him, there is nothing, nothing replaces that. Nothing is better than that. I don't care what your most favorite thing in the world is to do, it, nothing is better Nothing is better than spending time with God. There are so many benefits to that. I could not, I could spend all day talking about the benefits of God and not be done. There are so many things, guys. We could testify and testify and testify of the goodness of God and how He takes care of us day after day after day. And it's His goodness, it's His grace, it's His mercy, it's His love. 
for us. This is compassion on us. And when we have that relationship with him, it just grows closer and stronger and you're able to hear him more clearly and, and, and follow him, right? And so good. Speak kindly to yourself. The Be Brave Challenge. This is what I want you to do today. Write yourself a quick note and list three things you are thankful for about yourself. Seriously, do it. She says, seriously, do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, do it. It's so easy for us to encourage other people. It's so easy for us to send a text or a message or write a letter or make a phone call or tell somebody next to us how awesome that they are. It's so easy for us to pour out encouragement for some of us. It's so easy to do that, to just say, you're awesome. You got this. You can do it. Giving that thumbs up, giving that heart emoji or whatever it is. It's so easy for us to pour it out on other people, but it's hard sometimes to give that back to ourselves. So that's what I want you to do today. Write yourself a note. Write yourself a note and list at least three things you're thankful for about yourself. About yourself. I want you to do it. I want you to read it to yourself. I want you to tell yourself in the mirror this morning, on your way to work, whatever it is. Three things you're thankful for about yourself today. Write yourself that letter. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be blessed, my goodness, be blessed. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive, right? Speak kindly to yourself. And, you're, and let me tell you something, when you do that also, other people around your family, your kids, are always watching you. They are always watching and they are always listening and they see and they pick up on things that you are doing. So speak kindly to yourself so your kids will do the same thing, right? Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all tomorrow on the EMJ Daily. Bye, guys.